Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, today we are going to hopefully get quite a lot done, which should mean, well, it might mean a lot of cuts as well um, in the... Um, in the filming uh, but today I essentially want to spend the last bunch of time on the MV tier um, because we're we're just spending too long on it basically HVT is ready to go uh, there's a few other things I want to get done as well which I may or may not do on or off camera uh, the big thing for today is to get some extra steam so I want to finally get around to making this bronze firebox uh, the bronze grig tech boiler which makes a bunch more liters uh, there are a few other things i want to do with setting this up we're going to need to have our charcoal production potentially a lot better i've had my pyrolyze running yeah we're getting some methanol but we'll leave that running for a while uh, we may need to change the farms upstairs to the multi farms um, yeah lots and lots and lots of stuff for this episode um, to try and you know round out the MV tier so I've made a bunch of bronze uh, well a stack isn't really isn't really a bunch for this uh, I have processed quite a bit of copper and bits and pieces though so I should be able to basically run away make these four bronze fireboxes uh, or firebox casings rather and then I think one of them yep one of them goes into making the boiler the other three go into making those casings and then the rest is just some bronze plated bricks nothing too strenuous there um, but all stuff we have to go through i did contemplate going straight to the steel one one and a half times more efficient than the bronze one it means we need five more steam turbines yeah we'll see how we go let's um let's make the bronze one first i don't think we need much more steam than we already have but to keep the boiler fired up we're going to need to have a steady stream of charcoal coming in uh, which means we're going to have to make sure our trees and charcoal are all set up and ready to rock anyway i will run off and make these bits and pieces uh, i'll be back and we'll set this thing up and see how we go with connecting it and what other bits and pieces we may want to attach to it to just keep it running smoothly anyway i will see you back here in just a moment so here we go with a bunch of stuff i've put the first little bits down um as we see here it's quite tall so i've had to carve out a bit of the roof uh i had <laughs> i had put this little boiler back in just so that we could make ourselves some steam there's some really dodgy looking uh dodgy looking pipes on top of that let's get rid of those uh and we'll just cut down a bunch of the water pipes and we may we may reroute the water around here as it is because this is where the inlet is so what do we need to do we've got a three by five by three the bottom layer has all the firebox casings uh as well well sorry just the fire boxes uh, as well as the input water input fuel maintenance and muffler the mufflers on the bottom are uh, the output hatch is any casing above now there is this free spot here that i don't have an extra case for so um, we'll have to see how this pans out because the next ones are those three there like that and then we're gonna have these with the output hatch so we are gonna put i want to put the output hatch pretty much here yeah that'll do we could probably move it up i did put a oh no i didn't <laughs> i thought i'd put a valve on the top of that tank uh for now we can just go on the side that's okay uh we are going to need to go up one more level to there now i'm really not sure what goes in this spot here i'm i'm guessing that the case casing goes in uh we want to put oh look we've got two left over cool so that is everything that we've got we are just missing one more spot so obviously we needed to make an extra firebox casing now this in the context of the quests is probably actually correct because if we go back to multi-block goals and have a look at it 
Um, at the start, we're told to make four fire box, uh, so, sorry, sorry, four bronze fire box casings. Um, I ended up using one in the large bronze boiler. So it does sort of suggest we need to actually make four of these. Let's just claim the stuff so that we completed. And we're going to need to grab ourselves a little bit more bronze. Now I do have, yeah, I do have another bronze frame box. So we can put the other bronze frame box there. We're going to need four, I think. Yeah, four bronze and damn it, we're going to need. We are going to need to make ourselves very quickly. Let's put those in there. Won't bother cutting for this one. Awesome, and now, thanks to concrete and sprinting, extruder, yep, throw two of those in there and grab our rods, come on, awesome, sprinting back over and there we go the last casing so the last casing can go in there now will it form will it form yes awesome so that is formed exactly how we need it now large bronze boiler pipe is loose screws are loose everything is loose basically um we're going to need to make sure we have enough water going into this thing so that is probably the next thing i need to do Wooden fluid pipe. Now I wanted to make some huge wooden fluid pipes again. You know what though? These probably... Oh, I do have some large ones. Uh, and what is it? Do we have any... Yes. Yes we do. It's going to annoy me that there's, <laughs> I can't stand to have it not looking quite right. So let's just grab a couple of those. Uh, take the wand out for now. Ah, I can fix that one from the other side. That's okay. Uh, so we want to put that pipe there, that pipe there. Now this should you know what we're not going to have enough by like <laughs> one piece all right so let's just make sure how much is that 600 liters per second now i wonder if we throw that on there and actually just connect it and yeah, we could use the steel i guess okay so we are getting 600 per second now does this tell us how much A program circuit in the main block throttles the boiler. Ah, okay, so we can put a program circuit in there to throttle it back, which will be really handy to do, actually. Now, it looks like we're producing 32 buckets of steam for one coal at, well, there we go, 16 buckets per second. Now, I seriously doubt this water is going to keep up, so we are going to need... Oh, I have got another large one. Where did that come from? Huh, oh. I'm not going to argue. Yeah, I wonder why that one didn't appear. Anyway, we'll use the large one. Awesome. And now for steam, 1600 litres. We're going to need a lot more than that. So let's get ourselves some... Let's get a stack of steel. Now this steel pipe is huge steel pipe. So we should have huge pipe. There we go. Now I think, yep, it's 12 and 12. So yeah, 19,000 liters per second. So that looks like it will cope with how much we're doing based on that tooltip. So if it's going to do 
16 liters per second. And connect. Awesome. So now we need to do all of that pipe is loose stuff. Now, one of the things that we could have made at some point in the past is uh, the tape. I think there's even a quest for it over here. Carbon mesh, nine rubber sheets, refined glue cell. It should be pretty easy to make uh, the brain tech aerospace advanced reinforced. Uh, this will basically, duct tape will fix all maintenance problems. So I'm going to make some of that duct tape at some point. For now, though, we are just going to use all of the bits and pieces. Actually, I don't think we need the saw, do we? I can never remember how many things we need. Um, but we do, I do remember we need the soldering iron and the solder. So, screwdriver, crowbar, hammer. Loose, stuck, circuitry burned out. So, that's with those. The wrench and... That, and then it's just something is stuck and I can't remember is it the soft mallet it is the soft mallet awesome let's throw that back now I have to recharge that at some point it's just okay we're gonna keep one of the soft mallets to help start it cool I think that is us we are just gonna need to put in One of those, uh, get our soft mallet, and wahoo! <laughs> and we even get a little uh, achievement. Okay, that ran for like no time whatsoever, and oh, this is gonna be a pain because I don't exactly know. How this is gonna produce steam. Well, so there's the um exhaust oh yeah so it is going to produce steam straight away pretty much 784 785 786 wow okay so this produces steam pretty fast now there doesn't seem to be a way now make sure we're not running out of water yep so that water is going down that is chewing through charcoal now the other thing to check yeah, we are going to chew water up really, really fast. So it's not using that one, but it is using that one up pretty quick. Okay, so for now, this is probably going to be... Yeah, this is going to be amazing at just getting steam really quickly because it seems to get up to heat pretty fast. Awesome. So the next thing to look at is to put whatever circuit needs to go in there, uh, which will be a programmed circuit in the main socket. So what is a program circuit? Is it just what we're expecting? It is just one of those. Cool. So we can probably grab uh, LVT. -er. Let's just grab that for program circuit. And that throttles it. Okay, so we've got 19, 18, 17. Okay, that's going really fast. <laughs> that put that in the input hatch. That's interesting. I think I wanted it there. 9, 8, 7. Okay, this is... Whew, 5... Four, three. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be minus 1,000 liters per second per config. All right, I think that is going to be the hint. So if we grab that per config, so let's go for half. Or do we want, uh, where is the other one? 10, 11... Let's go for 12. So that'll take 12 liters per second off the config. 
Yep, let's put that there now. Do we have... I see we're full of steam already. All right, I'm going to leave that there. I have a feeling that doing that with program circuit 12 is going to take 12 liters per or 12 buckets per second off, which should leave us with four buckets per second, um, which will be a nice way of sort of throttling this at the moment. Um, I will run away because there's a couple of other things I want to do. I want to make a few bits because we want to get ourselves our charcoal heading into here maybe automatically and then just use the soft mallet to turn it on and off um, but there are a couple of things I want to do first so let me make a couple more bits and then we will come back uh, and hopefully have yeah hopefully have all this hooked up to be at least automated feeding so we can just turn it on and off anyway see you back here in just a bit all right back for the um <clears throat> back for the last little bit of this episode uh what i've done is re-routed rerouted depending on where you're in the world uh this pipe along here and put one up here just full of steam uh put ourselves a barrel here and right next to this uh what you might have seen we're about to do is hook ourselves up a compressor now i have this high pressure compressor and i'm actually wondering if we can put item auto output, we need it to go that way. Now steam needs to go out one of the sides. So what we're gonna do, let's grab, actually we don't need that one. Now the other thing that I had to do is to pull up the stainless steel fluid pipe, I needed to make myself a stainless steel wrench. So in there it says stainless steel level four. Uh, the original wrench I had was just steel, which is only level two. Level two is not enough. <laughs> not enough to get this done anyway. So let's grab some of this. Let's just make sure that this is gonna work first of all. So this compressor is probably not going to keep up with a fully running uh, bronze boiler. I also changed this to be configuration 15 to make it as slow as I possibly could. Um, oh, why is that doing that? Uh, this is going to be one of those annoying things. All right, so we're going to need to... We're not going to be able to do that. We're going to have to drag the charcoal into here. <laughs> All right, so the steam comes out the side that's set to output. But also... So is... Now I wonder if we go like this nope yeah right so the steam's only able to come out wow so you can never do auto output on one of these machines that's really really silly all right what i'm gonna have to do is move this over by one slot because one of the things we're gonna want to do is we'll get our let's just get our charcoal we do want the charcoal to go in there we want our let's grab ourselves a I know we've got the screwdriver already. We're gonna need probably two of these now. Now we wanna shift right click that to lock it to that type. We wanna grab one of those. Set it to import. Plug that into there. Now let's just wait. It's like 20 seconds per thing on that um, lower version of convert. Yeah, one stack every 20 seconds. But it's a stack every 20 seconds, so that should be all right. There we go, so there's the three come across, that goes to there. And we're gonna need to move this across by one. How fast can we do that, you reckon? Let's go for I'll go for that, 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 that. It's 
Oh, go for that. Uh, we're going to need to stop stepping on the uh, on the hot stuff. Uh, we're going to want to put... Uh, what are we? Stainless steel fluid pipe. We may need another one of these as well. Because we're going to... Yeah, it's not going to matter which way around we do this. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We can put one on top of there. We can set that up. We can grab our... Oh, where did we go? There we go. Put that in there. We'll put our glass. And our... Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna have to put something else down there. But that's all right. And then we can put ourselves the high pressure thing back on top of there. We can leave the output at the back for the steam. Actually, what we might do is we'll make the output at the top for the steam just so that we can walk around the back a bit more safely. Uh, we're gonna need to quickly put that back there. We're gonna need another one of these. See, I anticipated this was probably gonna be the case by grabbing two of these. So let's import that. Put that there throw that in there. Now we don't want item auto output, but hopefully this thing will pull the items out and into there. Uh, let's go and grab ourselves very quickly. One little piece of stone. Oh, now this is running. Oh, we might as well let it run. So that can go there. That can go back. Awesome, so this is still going to pull only every 20 seconds. That's going to pull every 20 seconds. This is going to pull to here. Now, as I said, this thing here seems to slow down the way it runs, but only once it's up to temperature. So once the first few blocks go through, um, we should see this running a bit slower now. Yeah, look at that. It's about... Well, maybe a bit faster than a bucket every second, but there's a bit coming out as well, so... Yeah, I think that circuit's working because before when we had the other circuit in there, this thing was just going up by like 5,000 at a time or 6,000 at a time. So I think that is working to limit the steam output. In fact, 15 may not even be... We may even want that to be 14, 13 or even back to 12, how we had, because look at that. We are producing compressed blocks of charcoal faster than we are running it. That is awesome. Now, the only thing that is left to happen is this little channel that I've already run is going to have... Ha! Huh. And this is exactly why... Exactly why I can't have this outputting on the top. That needs to be the back. Because we want to have this stuff. And this should... should now be constantly filled with charcoal the charcoal should be constantly converted to blocks blocks across to here oh I didn't actually mean to do that in fact there we go the blocks the blocks come across that's just that uh, where was it Oh no, maybe it just got taken out here. Yes, this is still growing. Awesome, so we are actually producing blocks of charcoal faster than this can make steam. This is doing enough to power... Yeah, I mean, it's doing enough to grow and to power the compressor, but it looks like we may need to just up, uh, up this by one or two to 14 or 13, um, and then we should be good. 
Cool. Well, I think that is a good place to end this episode. I was planning on doing a bit more with potentially starting on the farms uh, upstairs, but uh, I noticed that <clears throat> looking at the clock, we have actually recorded quite a bit already. So I will leave this one here um, as another success and uh, upgraded Steam for quite a bit into the future as well. We're going to um, obviously be able to change that circuit. Well, up until the point that our charcoal production can't keep up with it anymore is probably where we're going to get to with that uh, before needing another, another upgrade. Uh, but for now, that is all from me. So as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.